another one is the simple vending machine. If you want to implement a vending machine okay, uh, that like accept points, let's just say you have two points only, you have five baht and 10 baht points, okay, and you have a state machine, a vending machine that takes in the two different points. Okay, it's the five and 10. And then we can design the, the machine that sells the drinks for 15 baht. Okay. And then you have the output that will say, okay, you put 15 baht already, then you dispense the drink. So output will be one. So it's just true, false, right? So it's zero and it will turn one only when you put 15 baht, okay? So then just make it very simple that you will never put more than 15, you don't cancel between the way. So to do that, then you have to think about, uh, okay, we have 10 and 5 bad points. So what kind of, what, how many states can you have? Four. So for the start, you have no points. Okay, first, so first you have no horns at all, two you have five bar, right? And then three you have ten bar. And then four you have fifteen bar, which you make at the end. Okay. And output is only gonna be one whenever you have 15 baht and the rest will be zero. Okay. Okay, for the, our state machines, you're gonna have four states. Okay, so you need two flip-flops, so two bits basically. Okay. So first you have start. Okay. And then no, nothing, empty. Okay. So at state zero, zero, you have nothing coming in yet. If you have five bad points coming in, you have to go to state one, right? So we say we have state zero, one here. State zero one zero here, so state two, and then the last state here four. So first zero. If you have you can have two possible input, is at five bad points and then ten bad points. So you have one five bad. You go to state zero one. Okay, so this is. Five coming in, and if you have ten, so you go to say say the other one. Say that you have ten baht already. So the only two inputs, so two possible way of transition, two transitions possible. Okay, you can go only five or ten. There's no other points. So from that, from this phase that you have five already, okay, if you have, then you have two possible input at the same as well. So you have five more in, then you go to state, right? Five, five more. So from here you have five. If you have five, five more in, then you go to one zero, right? Then if you have ten, if you have ten baht, means that you put the ten baht point. It means that you have now fifteen. Right? So you go to state three, which is fifteen baht. So we have to fill in all the possible inputs for all the possible transitions. That uh, what could happen? So from here, zero, 
uh, five and ten from here, five, five and ten here, and then from ten back, if you have five, if it goes here, means that you already put fifteen back. Okay. But since this machine is simple, you can take you can take at most 15 baht and then you dispense the drink. So let's say that even though you put 20 baht, so you put another 10 baht more, it's just gonna go to the state that saying that you have 15 baht, you're not gonna refund. So you can design it anywhere you like, any, any how you like. You can say that if it's 10 baht, you can give, give it the more state, so it's gonna be more complicated. So you can say that if you add 10 baht instead of going here, you can say like, oh, we're gonna do like 20 baht states and then you add one more state. But then if you add one more state, you need the more than two flip-flop to store it. You need three bits of flip-flop, right? So you have to, to have zero, zero, zero to one, one, one. So just, Let's just make it simple that you cannot uh, change. So whatever, if you put five baht or 10 baht, it's just gonna go to the state of having 15 baht. Okay, and if you have 15 already, you can say like, okay, it's done. At this point, we're gonna give you a drink and then I'm gonna reset myself. Um, if you say like, if someone put in another five bad points, you can just go to the state of five bad here. Depending on how you design it, if you want to make it simple, you can just force it to go back to the zero first. Or you can just like, okay, let's say like, you can just continue the mint machine and keep storing it to 10 bad here. You can write the truth table as well. It will be very similar to before, to the machine before. So you have four states and then you have two inputs. The truth table is gonna be bigger. So it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be two flip-flop that has zero, zero, two, one, one. But then the input is going to have the five bar. Let's just say five bar is A and then the, 10 bar, which is B. So the truth table is going to have the possibility of from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. So you have four bits. Going to have 16 cases that could happen, right? So current A, B, and then the next state. So you can use um, D, Q, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's what you know is that it's current, and it's the future. It's current and what is going to happen next. So D and Q is okay, it doesn't matter. You can use D or Q or Q pi or Q. People use it differently. Just make sure that it's consistent. And you have output that depends on the state that is going to be one only here when you have 50 baht already. If you click, if you have inserted more points than you need, hanging state like this, okay. Um, so in this case that you have more than four states, right? You have to add another bit because it's two bits is not enough anymore. So you need to have one more zero in front. Or you can just name anywhere you like as well. And it's just that you have to write the truth table accordingly. You can just name this day like one, one, one. It doesn't matter. You just have to write the truth table accordingly. Let's say you have a state of one, one, one where you put too much points. Okay. So it's going to happen only when you have 10 baht and then you put another 10 baht. 
and say, at this phase, we don't care about A and B. If you put more coins, it's just gonna loop here. So it's a, you put any coins, it's gonna loop here until you click reset. So cancel. If you click cancel, then it goes back to the beginning. So you have one more input, which is cancel. So it means at any point, if you cancel it, it goes back to zero. At any point you have cancel, it goes back to zero. Okay. So from here, it can go back to zero as well. So just looking at this state from zero, one, zero to one, one, one. From zero, zero, one, zero to one, one, one. The input, if it's um, 10 bar, which is B, it transitions from this state to this state. And at this state, 1, 1, 1, the current state of 1, 1, 1, right? You have to wait for the cancel button to be true. So cancel is 1, then it will go back to the state next. It's going to go back to reset. If you haven't canceled it yet, it's just going to keep waiting there. So if you haven't canceled it yet, if the cancel is zero, it doesn't matter where whatever you put, 10 baht or 5 baht, doesn't matter. You have, don't care. Then you and then you're going to keep staying in this state. So you have Another input is don't care. So whenever we have a don't care in the truth table, you write the equation out of it as if the most convenient for you. So the next state here means that this is going to be one, one, one. When cancel is zero, so cancel is zero. And A, B doesn't matter. So Q2, Q1, Q0. Here is going to write as it depends on C bar cancel, not cancel only. It doesn't matter of A and it doesn't matter how much, uh, whatever the value of A and B is. So this is how we write down here. So there are certain cases that don't care will show up. So if you have questions, you can test it. So the summary is that you have a basic logic design for a simple combination logic is, um, circuit that the output change according to the input. And then if you have sequential logic, you have to care for the previous um, inputs. What's the state and what's the next state? So change according to the whatever is stored before. Thank you.